let me talk about this because this echoes one of the energies that I picked up earlier. So we have some legal issues that needs to be sorted out. And the legal issues per pertains to finances, okay? Money that's um, coming in for you as well as money that, that is coming out as it is mandated by the court. So usually I look at this and I think about, you know, child custody, alimony, some type of a separation between two people, and it result, it, it requires some, some financial exchange, financial arrangement. It's not very clean cut. And I do sense a lot of you are not like entirely happy that this money is coming out. And I do feel for a lot of you, this might be alimony, this might be child support as it relates to a person that you share children with because we have the cards regarding children, regarding, you know, um, past relationships and especially a very karmic relationships where you might have been married or you might have assets together or you might even... Um, it's like, I think of karmic relationships as, you know, the, the kinds that allow you to conceive, allow you to have children. And I know that that's not going to apply with same sex relationships, but I do feel there is a significant amount of karma here. And I feel like you have a lot of responsibilities with that person. It shows up in the reverse position. So I feel like the relationship might have ended for quite some time, but you are not able to cleanly extract yourself from it. You're still stuck financially or even like, you know, there, there are still some blockages and some barriers preventing you completely from moving away from that person. And I'm also feeling here that this is the month in which, you know, you get to hash it out. You get to have legal representation to help you navigate the nuances with this energy where you're going to need to, you know, clearly decide or get help deciding, okay, how much money do I need to give out? What do I owe the other person? How can we dissolve that contract between the two of us? And, um, for some of you, I'm feeling it could also be a business partnership where, where, uh, revenues has stalled. Okay. So things have stalled and you're just like, no, I want to, uh, I want to retrieve all my assets. I want to get all my investment back. So it, I feel like some things breaking down, like, um, um, a business relationship too. And you're trying to figure out how to move forward. Okay. I'm sensing for some of you as well, you're trying to buy property and you and another person are linked up together, trying to get a loan, like, um, Getting a loan to buy a house, getting a loan to start a business, and getting a loan from a financial institution for some some new thing. It could even be remodeling a house. And either way, this is basically indicative of money coming through, through like some financial institution. It's in the reverse position. And so I feel like there might be some challenges regarding, you know, are, uh, are both people like, are their incomes enough to be collateral or is there like collateral for this loan? Um, do you both have like, you know, good enough credit to be able to get this loan or are you like at high risk where you're, you're considered high risk. So they won't allow you to have the loan. And then I feel like you might have to go through, you know, family channels. Okay. So these are, this is a group of uh, a card about, you know, people that, you know, family, um, celebrations as well. But when it shows up in the reverse, it's kind of like looking at non-traditional channels, people that, you know, people within your family unit, people around you in your group associations, who might be able to offer you investment opportunities or they might be financiers or investors and you're coming to them for some type of a loan, okay? You're coming to them for funding. You're coming to them to extract something from them, okay? And they're going to shoot a lot of questions your way and I do feel that you're going to need to be able to defend yourself and you're going to need to be able to tell them exactly why you deserve this and tell, tell them exactly why they should invest in you. So I feel a lot of you are going to need to brush up on your abilities to convince people, your abilities to, you know, anticipate all kinds of questions that are coming your way and to anticipate how to, um, maneuver 
around these questions, especially if it's a uh, legal counsel, people who are very good at interrogation, people who are really good at assessing, you know, all the important pieces of information that they need to know so that they can either vouch for you or they can, you know, accept your offer or they can cannot accept your offer. So I feel like you're going to have to anticipate a lot here. Okay. I, I am seeing a big vibe of investigation, okay? So I have here the Two of Swords. And the Two of Swords is kind of like, you don't really know which way things are going to go. So I feel like you do come into this month with uncertainty. If somebody is asking you a lot of questions, you're, you're not able to gauge or anticipate their next question. So I feel like it's really hard for you to plan things when you're communicating for this month. And so the smart thing to do is, you know, be as honest as possible and um, answer in, you know, short enough answer so that so that when you backtrack, you can still save yourself. But at the same time, truthful, being truthful, being very, very honest, um, being very clear about what you're communicating. I feel like that's going to be really important for you. Okay. The Two of Swords is a situation, too, where something is drawn out. It's a stalemate. And I feel like for some of you, this is kind of like legal issues, once again, uh, dragging on with another person. You just want it to be over and done with. But at the same time, I feel like you can exact a lot of change in this situation. Um, the cards are indicating to me, though, that you're not really making the move. You're not, you know, being proactive about allowing... I guess things from your end or doing things from your end to move things along. Okay. So I feel like there's something weighing heavily on your mind. I feel like for many of you, something weighing heavily on your mind, but you're not doing anything and moving things along. Um, if we are proactive about things, we're kind of like on the forefront of that energy rather than being reactive where you're behind the energy and you're just reacting to situations left and right as they come it's best to be on the proactive end and just you know um i guess like stay abreast and also be ahead of that energy that means moving things along so that you have the upper hand okay i feel like that's really important for this month um I do see a lot of um, relationships that are ending, okay? So rose-colored glasses are coming off. If you've been just um, mindlessly helping, chipping in, working towards uh, goals with another person, and you find them kind of like, you know, they're, they're, they're very scattered, they have a million things going on in their head. They don't know how to take care of practical responsibilities because, you know, their mind is wired differently, right? Or for whatever reason, they have this grandiose sense of self where they feel like I'm entitled to this, I'm entitled to this. And, you know, they feel like life is, is there for the picking. And I feel like you're going to be, your eyes are going to be open to this energy where you start to see the other person as somebody who is not reliable, somebody who might be a little bit careless and somebody who is just like, they, they don't really plan. And then you end up having to come in and, you know, clean up the mess for them. I feel like your eyes are going to be open to this type of energy and you're not going to be um, in the position to let them take advantage of you anymore. So, um, Taurus, really, really speak up for yourself, okay? This is the month where things are not going to be the same. I do see a lot of shifts of energy, but I feel like you're kind of behind it and you're reacting based on what's coming in rather than acting to get yourself ahead of it so that you're not, you know, dragged behind by it. I hope that makes sense. And um, I do sense overall that, you know, reacting to this, it's, it's like one thing after another. Okay, one thing after another. I do see financial fluctuations for you guys too, so be very careful about that. I'm sensing that you have more than enough at your disposal to take care of your everyday, you know, daily needs, your all the, the necessary things. But I'm also feeling as well that it might be good for you to start planning long term, to, you know, start saving up and especially don't spend lavishly, okay? Um, in your career, 
overall in your career, I feel that a lot of you are exactly where you need to be. And so that basically means that, you know, you're in a job that pays really well, but there's also a lot of responsibilities associated with it. So you might be working very long hours. I'm seeing a lot of people staying up really late at night, reviewing contracts, um, grading papers for some of you who are teachers, professors, or, you know, you're leading some type of training group. I'm sensing that it's basically saying, you know, whatever the amount that you're making, if you start to itemize, if, if you start to really divide up, for example, all the hours that you spend working on things outside of work, are you really getting paid, you know, the amount that you're worth and the amount that you, you deserve? So I feel like some re-examining of your work situation, especially that career some of you are at that um, at that place that you want to be. Just, you know, divide up the time that you're actually spending at work and outside of work to maintain everything. Is it still worth it? Are you, you know, getting enough that you believe? Like, are, are you getting what you feel you, you put in? Okay, because I feel like there's a lot of time, a lot of responsibilities on your plate. And maybe... Asking for a pay increase might be in order. If you are thinking about that, I feel like it might go in your favor. Okay. Um, the last message I have here is that I feel a lot of you are at this point in your life where you are very, very cautious about relationships. And um, the reason I say that is because this first card came out. This is kind of like some, some bad relationship in the past that... Um, at the end of it, you never question, you know, is the other person coming back? Should I contact the other person? That was never up for questioning because you knew it was bad and you knew it's done and over with and that you can't really go back to it. And I feel like this person really, really did a number on you and they drained you financially. There might have been some theft as it relates to money or some extravagant spending um, somebody like, you know, possibly taking advantage of your financial situation and, and, you know, milking it for what it's worth. And I'm sensing a lot of you are at this state in stage in your life where you're just like, never again, I'm not going to let that happen to me again. I'm not going to play that fool. And so the energy you're bringing to the table when it comes to love and dating here is skepticism, you know, having your guard up. And um, seeing through other people through a little bit more of a suspicious lens, um, it's not bad or good. I just feel like, you know, you need to just be able to discern good and bad people and to surround yourself with good people and not put yourself back in that situation, okay? Um, I'm going to go into your love reading. I hope this helps. And I feel like, you know, of course, it's not going to apply to all of you, but for those of you dealing with this... I feel like those are the messages you might need to hear. And then for others of you, I feel like things are going swimmingly well, but I feel that you're going to be really, really busy this month, okay? Um, it feels like there's a lot of like behind the scenes stuff that you have to take care of. Grading, um, reviewing contracts, doing additional research work outside of work. And it almost feels to me like you're doing, you're doing a lot and you're working a lot and a lot of overtime as well. 